Hello folks, this is my latest project from John's workshop. Uh, we'll take a little trip around. Well, what is it you might say? Well, these are commonly referred to as a solar generator. And let me explain. So inside is a battery and an inverter that turns battery power into 110 volts. So you can run 110 volt appliances and whatnot. So let's go around it and check out the features. Right here, we've got uh, LED lights. Right there. This area right here, we have four USB charging ports. Over here, we have 110 volt plug. Over here on this side is a fan to uh, bring in uh, cool air to cool the inverter. Over on this side, this is the input for the solar panels. All right, it also has a handle here. You can see the handle here for Move it around on wheels, makes it easy to uh, move it around because it weighs about 65 pounds. Okay, the unit consists of two boxes. The top uh, is just a small toolbox, and then the large box at the bottom has all the electronic equipment in it. So let's take a look and see what's in the top here. It's just a little storage area here. I have the uh, cable that I use to plug into the uh, solar panels. This toolbox comes off. Got a clip right there. Clip on that side. Make sure it's locked. And it just comes right off. Now let's go ahead and take the lid off of this side, uh, off this large box. See what we got inside there. So here's all the electronic ma uh, magic that makes this thing work. There's uh, four battery cells below this assembly right here. This is an inverter that takes 12 volts and turns it in to 110 volts. It can go up to 1200 watts. This little blue box right here is called a solar charge controller. It takes the uh, 35 to 40 volts that comes in from the solar panel and turns it into 12 volts to charge the battery. And then of course we have a positive bus, negative bus over here. I have a 12 volt uh, system here where I can uh, hook 12 volt items up to this. Master control switch right here to completely turn off the disconnect the battery from the rest of the electronics. We have a switch here that goes to the inverter and when I push the button you can see it powers on the inverter. Now we have 110 volts uh, for this plug right here. And what's this for? Well, in case we have a power outage in a storm, whatnot, no power to the house, I just wheel this out of my workshop over to the garage and then I can plug in my refrigerator in the house. I can wheel this into the house, plug my refrigerator in, and I can keep my refrigerator going for about two days. With the solar panels, I can uh, take this thing and charge it up by the sun. So anyways, it's just a little uh, device to have in case of a storm. Also, I can take this thing around the yard and I can plug a tree trimmer into it and electric chainsaw or electric uh, tree trimmer, leaf blower, uh, vacuum or whatever I need around the yard if I need some electricity where an extension cord won't go. So it's, 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 it's useful for that. You can take it on a camping trip with you, plug a refrigerator into it, lights, charge your phones, whatnot. So it's a handy little gadget to have.